She's a singer and songwriter whose hit single, Fighters, reached the top 20 on the gospel charts. And she joins us today talking a little bit about domestic violence. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. How are you, Cheryl Fortune? I am wonderful. How are you? Good, 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 good. <laughs> Happy Thank that you're here. Thank you so much for having me. I Absolutely. am excited, yes. excited. Good, good, good. <laughs> Well, we're really happy to have you, and I'm really ecstatic about talking yeah. about something that's been so quiet for so many Absolutely. years for women. Absolutely. Um, as we understand, you were the wife of uh, James Fortune for, yes. for 14 years. Yeah. And uh, in that time, it was not always happy. We understand right. that there was some domestic violence going on. Yeah. And he was prosecuted yes. um, for um, physical Yes. Harming, harming you. Yes, I uh, did five years on probation. Yes, five uh -huh. years probation. Five days in jail. The, yes. And mm -hmm. 149 hours of community yes. service. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Do you feel that that was, uh, <laughs> do you feel like that was enough <laughs> or that for the pain you endured? Yeah. You know, um, my whole take on that was I really left that in the hands of the court system. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, my biggest thing was that I wanted to get out. And I needed my peace, mm -hmm. and I needed freedom. So I kind of left that up to the court system. Um, I'm not going to really, you know, say, hey, no, you should have gotten this, you should have gotten that, and um, right. because it wasn't my call. Right. Um, I'm not God. Yeah, <laughs> you know? right, yes. I'm not God. I'm not the judge. And, um, and so I really kind of left it up to the court system. And my prayer is just always that, you know, hopefully he's, you know, getting the necessary help that, right. you know, he's needed. Right. My yes. biggest concern. And, and you've chosen... Uh, our platform to speak yeah. about it for the very first time. Yeah. Why? Well, because I just wanted to be a voice to let other women know that you don't have to be afraid. Yes. Um, you don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to be embarrassed. And it's not your fault. And I think when we're in situations like this, we blame ourselves. Right. And one thing for me that was extremely hard, um, and because I stayed in for so long, and you know, watching, you know, me keep my children in this type of environment was not healthy. Right. right you right. know, it was really not healthy at all. And so just want to kind of encourage women. I want you to look at me yeah. and say, hey, she came out of there. I can come out of that, too. Absolutely. You know, and I know that I am the face of victory. Yeah. And that's one thing that God confirmed mm -hmm. that I am bringing. You know, you've got to share your testimony. Yes. I brought you out of this because there are so many women who don't, yes. you know, come out of this. And we see this all the time. And so I just want people to see what it looks like on the other side. Other side. Yeah. yeah. Would you guys been such a staple yeah. in the gospel community yeah. and a pillar of the church? Mm -hmm. Was the church ever aware of the physical abuse that was going on? There were a few people who were aware and I think, you know, made some attempts to try and help, but I believe that a person has to be ready yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. for that help. And um, I think that may have been one of the issues, you mm -hmm. know, so you have to be ready for it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you have to be transparent. Yeah. And you have to kind of take the veil off, mm -hmm. you know, and be ready for that. But yes, it, you know, there were some people that were aware and, and tried. So they yeah. And I wasn't ready. Mm. Right. It, <laughs> right. Because it had to come yeah, from Yeah, I wasn't right. ready. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So. So let's talk a little bit about your song, Fighters. Yes. yes. What inspired Fighters? Wow. Mm -hmm. I love sharing this story. Okay. Um, the inspiration came from my daughter, who's 13 years old, my daughter Jamie, and she had made a Mother's Day card. The last part of the card said, fighter, you never give up, and you always fight for what's right. Love it. And so, of course, that was like immediate breakdown for me. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> like, we're about to do <laughs> just taking us out right now. We're taking us out, you're trying to keep it together. We really are. <laughs> and I'm just looking at her like, really? You mm -hmm. know, and she's like, yes, Mom. And it was just amazing, you know, to yeah. see that my children could acknowledge and recognize that I was fighting for a better us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was fighting for a healthier us. I was fighting for a stronger us. And yes. I wasn't going to give up. Yes. And, and so I created a song out of it. Like, I, it just would not leave. That one line would not leave. And I decided to create an anthem, you know, for women who are going through what I've gone through, um, who have gone through, don't know how to recover, don't know how to rebuild. I just wanted this to be a boost, a good life song. Love it. Yeah. yeah. You're so insp inspiring. Yeah. Very inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your biggest piece of advice for mm. women who may be currently in abusive relationships? Ooh, God. Get out. <laughs> Get out. There's so much help that's out there. 
Um, and there's so many, you know, people who are willing to kind of take your hand and yes. help you get out of that. Yes. And that's what I want women to understand. You don't have to stay in that stuck place. Yes. You do not have to stay in that stuck place. There is better. There's yeah. greater. Yeah. Get out. Get the necessary help that you need. Mm -hmm. It's out there. Yes. 1-800-799-SAFE. I always give that information. Give it again, out. please. 1-800-799-SAFE. Mm. Please, 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 you know, contact them. I'm always available. I always pray for people. I always, you know, encourage people. So reach out to me on social media. Yes. I really do take the time. To What's your social media handle? Yeah, it's um, Twitter and Instagram. I am Simply Cheryl. Yes. Facebook, nice easy. Cheryl yeah. Fortune. Yes. Love Website, that. I am Simply Cheryl Love that. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, God. Cheryl. We do appreciate you sharing <laughs> your story. Thank you. You can purchase her hit new single, yes. Fighters, on And the whole iTunes. record is out. <laughs> yes. And if there are in, if you are in any yeah. domestic abusive situation, yes. you can also call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-2333. Yes. Do it now. Love it, love it, love it. We'll be right back.